So Fubba's back in the news and knowing her, it's definitely not a successful cut. Best way that I can describe this new drama is some sort of like budget big brother, which includes screaming, name calling, a lack of sobriety and a couple of skid marks. And by that, I mean not the ones that were made by tires on a road. Honestly, watching this from the sidelines has really taught me what not to do on social media. And personally, I think that you need to witness this horror show. All this and more on Big L Fubba season 427. Honestly, there's a new one every day, isn't there? So, hello everyone, I'm Jake Baz, and welcome or welcome back. We cover the weird and wonderful things that are on the internet. And today it's with the new Big L Fubba series, where we're going to be going deeper and deeper down the abyss. So, if you haven't heard of her, El Fubba, she is a TikTok liver. She does TikTok lives mainly. Mainly because her original account was banned, so I think she's just scared of posting TikToks now. But she's been most frequently known for her scams, her outbursts, and, I mean, her amazing personality that is definitely not self-centered in any way, shape, or form. Personally, after sitting for multiple, multiple hours watching her TikTok lives, I think that she might be the goat. Last week, I covered her TikTok scam, a most recent one where she was getting people to pay by card to take a photo with her. And I mean, I'd actually argue this one is worse this week. So shall we cover these amazing revelations? And before we get into this video, if you do enjoy, please hit the like button and subscribe. We're a small channel. I'd love to see you back. So to start to sum up this mess, essentially what happened is that there's this woman called CLA who is a fellow TikTok liver and I presume an old friend of Elphaba uh, that has been hanging around with her recently. And to be honest, with TikTok livers, I don't even want to go deep here. TikTok live's such a weird place. Like, I don't understand how so many people end up hanging on there, like, for the majority of the day sometimes. Maybe one of you could enlighten me, but I just think the idea of seeing someone just stare at the front of their phone screen for a couple hours whilst spamming for gifts and doing these battles for gifts for money, I, I don't understand it at all. So try to enlighten me but I don't think you will. So yeah, El Fubba and her mum, uh, they decided to get, have a little trip to see this CLA woman. And let's just say it didn't turn out perfectly well. So this whole situation coincides with El Fubba recently leaving her establishment, her old house. Um, I, I don't know where she's gone. I don't think she's even said where she's gone. Uh, she might just be she might just be on someone's couch at the moment but the thing is a lot of people did notice how scabby her house was like in the way that it's kept not not necessarily it's a scabby house come on we we've got to be a bit above board here but the it's not being very well looked after and i mean it is quite obvious to see like all the scratches on the walls things like that it just looks very worn and weird and then also when you couple that with like elphaberg like sleeping without a duvet cover that that sort of things it's just it's a bit unhygienic. But her landlord was not very happy with her when she moved out. And I mean, she, he was not very happy at her. To the point where they posted a video on TikTok to literally scold her and embarrass her. Which for a landlord who are already at the cesspit of hell, like this is, this is a terrible thing to do, like morally. But yeah, they posted this. So also, as we'll go on to mention, El Fubba got a £300 fine as well. Um, and then this photo is shared. And I mean, if my landlord mugged me off after consistently mugging me off with high rent payments for months or potentially years, I don't know how I'd react in that situation. Probably become a little bit devious. But I mean, yeah, El Fubba lost all this. And I mean, oh, wow. She's left a real Gucci bag worth about a grand, surely. I mean, just one glance at it and it looks fake. I, I know that she's had stuff in the past where, like, she's been flexing that she's got, like, Gucci stuff. And, well, this looks definitely like a fake Gucci. Especially if you're going to leave it at your house as you move out. Like, ob obviously it is, so... Uh, what, what's new though, her lying? What's new? Also, I don't know why the landlord has done this like a crime scene shot where he, he's put everything in, even an extension cord. Why, why why, the fuck would you try and flame someone for an extension cord? If anything, it's only going to help you. But yeah, there's uh, there's quite a few odd things that have been left, such as the two hands. I don't, I, I don't know when she got them or why she got them, but that that's a very weird ornament. I, I can see why she left it back, but... Why Why does she have them in the first place? They're, they're very odd. And also she's left what I could only presume to be the back of a gimp mask. Which I mean, respect. Respect. Everyone's got one of them, don't they? And yeah, unfortunately, uh, at the end of this, there is a very 
unfortunate thing that I'm probably going to have to blur out just in case where it is a towel that has um, a bit of a uh, tire mark left on it. I think she might have just run out of toilet paper. And I mean, it's really embarrassing for, for that to be there. I, it's obviously not planted. I don't, a, a landlord would not plant something like that because it's just embarrassing. But like, oh, what? No, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. But I really, really don't understand this because why has the landlord just left all this stuff out like a crime scene where you might as well have put the crime scene numbers on uh, i don't get it it's not like she's got a ridiculous amount of stuff there she's left like a handful of stuff that you can just throw out in a minute the shit stained towel that that's another that's another thing that's <laughs> that, that's so nasty but it's not like there's anything necessarily terrible there get mass maybe yeah, it's, it's normal. I, everyone's got one, like I've said. But I can only feel, like, slightly sorry for her because this landlord has done this for a reason to just get at her, to uh, make, potentially just prove that he, he deserves the £300 that he's going to be getting uh, for, for all the damages. But at the same time, he's not even shown the damages. He's just taken the photo of this uh, just to just to pull a pants down, really. And it, it's quite wrong that, that because if it was anyone that wasn't in the public eye, obviously there'd never be a TikTok video on it. But because she is in the public eye, that, that's been done. And it's wrong. At the same time, though, when you've got people like landlords who are just nasty, but the most of them are nasty. I've had a couple of really lovely ones, but generally just horrible people um, that are so money obsessed. They're obviously going to try and get everything they can out of you. So using this sort of thing as an example of like, you need to pay me back, it, it's obviously going to come out bad. Yeah, it's very distasteful from the landlord. Uh, I, I don't know why he's done it apart from just to pull her pants down. Uh, in a public space it's not like she's had that enough from anyone i mean i'm partly I, i'm partly guilty i i feel bad now this is the problem with living serially online like El fubba does just live online she do, she she does videos for hours a day just on tiktok live trying to get money off of people and it's such a problem because it opens yourself up to stuff like this, especially if you're a bit of a scummy person like herself. But I mean, it's the price she pays for that bread. And actually, while we're on it, speaking of getting that bread, uh, I noticed when looking earlier today that her subscription prices are crazy. So her TikTok subscription for live, which is like something that you can do on TikTok, uh, specifically just to live streams, it gives people multi-guest requests, direct messages, comment responses, shout outs. It's basically just like a dick rider sort of system. Um, that is £50 a month. 50 And I mean, I'll put an example on of this absolute scumbag as well. Uh, Jack Jones TV. And his subscription model is only £10 a month. Well, 7 on offer. Come on, 7 Buy now. And before as well, she was saying that this is a mistake. That this, this isn't her fault. That it's happened and gone up to 50 quid a month. But... She's kept it on there, so definitely it is the case. And I mean, she even explains it, as you can see here. Next girl, when you do the same, charge your haters, giving you attention, because they're your biggest supporters. Your biggest supporters. Emma's a perfect example of a hater that gifted me, and she gifted me over 200 quid. Obviously, she's saying, oh, your biggest haters are your supporters, and no, your biggest haters aren't going to spend £50 on you. Like... They might give you a shitty TikTok gift that you can look at, but they're, they're not going to pay 50 quid. Uh, th this is just a tactic, um, I think, to try and get people. Yeah, it, maybe it is that kind of, oh, you hate me. Well, pay me 50 pounds so I give you attention. Uh, but I, I don't... I, are people that stupid? Actually thinking about it, she probably does get a couple of people that will subscribe to her just to get her attention. Yeah, um, but hating and spending 200 pound on you that that's that is just one stupid person she um, she got earlier i i looked in a tiktok live she got six thousand live viewers which is massive on tiktok absolutely massive and yet she got barely any like any any donations things like that and the reason why is because she's such an unlikable person. And you can play this game of, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play on the haters, uh, and you can do that for a certain amount of time. 
but then it does come and bite you in the arse and you end up with a red bottom or maybe just shit stains in your knickers like you <laughs> oh god <laughs> i'm not finishing that so yeah back to this cla woman uh, because she was in this certain predicament she ended up going to see this woman and i can't play the video sound but if you're watching this, she's just dancing to some music. This is what I mean about TikTok Live. Look at how ridiculous this is. They're, they're, they're all on the phones and El Fubba is dancing around and there's nothing going on. 6,200 people are watching. Like, wh why would you even... It's like a freak show. So yeah, El Fubba and her mum have gone to this woman's flat and the actual TikTok that I've just put in there obviously uh, foreshadows what's about to happen because she says... El Fubba and her mum at the CLA flat, <laughs> this is going to end up in tears and it actually does quite literally end up in tears. Because I'm glad I'm rude. I'm a rude girl. Rude, styling, no time yet. No, and that's just how it is, sweetheart. So you can run up your gums and say you're famous. You're more famous than me, but I make way more money than you, sweetheart. And I've got more subscribers, so no one cares, darling. I knew that if I got a place, this would have never happened. I knew that if I let them come here, this is, I knew it was going to happen. Because it's like they're invading my personal space. This now is like my personal space. I don't allow really anyone into it. It seems to have kind of come out of nowhere and... Yeah, she's being transphobic, uh, which I've not shown, but it's just, it's disgusting that she, she's even being like that. Um, but at the same time, it's a sticky situation. And it is like Battle of the Stuck Up Pricks because you've got this one, the, this CLA woman, and you've got El Fubba. So it's like two arseholes in one room. Yeah. We're going out, child. We've got a car to get into now. Oh. We're still, okay, we've got to go. Come on, come on. And this is the funniest thing. She kicks her and the mum out, and then she says, "I'll buy you when I get home." Like, what? Like, is that a normal friendship? Is that how? Is that how friendships work on TikTok Live? You you kick them out the house, and then an hour later, you're doing a TikTok Live battle to try and get twenty quid out of some fucking children. So this woman seems to have just basically just freaked out at the fact that they're in the same place as them. It, even though she's invited them over. Um, and there's some £2,000 thing going around about, oh, she she spent £2,000 on my card. I, I actually don't even believe that. I think I think that this is a battle of terrible egos. So I, I, don't, I, I don't believe anyone in this story, to be honest. This is why I said it's like the big brother or big alphabet, because this, this is, situation's just daft. But this whole like fallout and her leaving the house happened because there was, uh, sh she just kicked off and while they were both on TikTok Live. It, it was very weird to see. And for some reason, she thinks she's from Road. Root Starling, yes, I'm a real G. No one can take advantage of me, sweetheart. I've paid already for you. I've paid everything for you tonight. What have you paid for me? A pizza. And a drink. Pizza, and a 43 pound drink I've as well. I've paid 180 pounds, I've paid 20 pounds in two taxis. I've let you Your gift house. is you paid for that. Even during this argument though, El Vubbers shows herself as an arsehole once again. Like, oh, I've paid 180 quid. Yeah, well, I bought you a pizza and a 43 pound drink. Uh, like, what? What? That's not the same. Like, this, you shouldn't get financial stuff involved in like friendships, but obviously this is not a friendship. This is some weird TikTok live shit. And it's probably actually just to push the fact that you should pro join their TikTok lives next time to see what's going on. And to say your gift is paid for that, like your gift is paid for everything for you, Elphaba. Like stop being so stiff and just accept that you're wrong. I've had to tell you to buy me food. I had to tell you, I said, get your money out and buy me food. Your gift is paid for that. I don't care, I'm not your mom. I'm ruthless. It's time you stop being an asshole. Like, I've never heard of this woman before, but she's just a prick. Like, well, I mean, obviously, um, shit attracts shit, it seems, because Elphub is obviously with her. So the situation is quite frankly ridiculous. Um, I, I, I don't, I know that she should have left. Um, I wonder if they did that TikTok live straight afterwards after she, she essentially got kicked out of the house. And there's also stuff on this uh, CLA woman that I won't share, but she's basically just being a fucking prick about El Fubba and her mum, which uh, just saying that they stink and stuff. Um, which, I mean, fair enough. F fair, fair enough if they do smell, they smell, but to just mug people off straight away, I, I don't get it. Like, there must be something behind the scenes that I just don't know about or I'm ignorant to, but 
yeah, just saying that someone stinks again and again and again, like maybe offer them a shower. Um, don't just be a cunt. So yeah, after this, Elphaba uh, went on TikTok Live, believe it or not, she went on TikTok Live straight afterwards. Big drama. Um, and yeah, she responded about it. I think that she needs to watch what she says on live stream and to not be transphobic and to understand people a lot more. And this might be the actual first time I've seen Elfa, but actually be right. Like, yeah, there's no place to be transphobic. There's no place to be that kind of dumb and ignorant to the people that are around you to try and put yourself up on a pedestal. You are just an asshole. So this woman, she, she, needs, she needs to just shut up. But at the same time, it's not like they're both not in the wrong. Apparently, Elphaba's just being messy and they both smell. So <laughs> what, what? But yeah, to bring down that level of the conversation, it just puts a sour sort of feeling in everyone's mouth. It's, it's, not, it's not right. You shouldn't be doing it. What I think about this situation is that basically this woman needs to get in the bin. Uh, they should probably stop actually talking to each other uh, and just realise that this is just something that shouldn't be going on. No word of a lie, being transphobic, uh, get in the bin, like, go go away. But at the same time, Elphaba is still an arsehole. She really needs to tone down the amount of money that her, her fucking lives cost for the subscription that is ridiculous um you you could actually get a bit of money doing something you love instead of just being an asshole the entire time and expecting people to keep following you because yeah it's good for now when you've got people like me being sad and going through this entire drama finding it ridiculous and hilarious and commenting on it but like what how, how long could that go on for? How how long? How much longer can you do this? If I'm honest, I just think Elphaba needs to not be an asshole. Um, I, I think I think this whole situation is just dumb. She should have never gone there. It's it is what it is, isn't it? So, but what do you lot think about this? Because there's quite a lot that I could actually go deeper on, but I don't really want to uh, at the moment. But if you enjoyed this video, uh, yeah, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll probably follow up with another one on this saga. Like I said, it just doesn't stop. I've been Jake Baz. Take care.